so I'm Lorena. I'm a professional dancer from Brazil. Oh. Angelo, yeah. Angelo, I'm a huge fan of yours. You have no idea. Thank you. I'm so excited of being here with you guys. Mm -hmm. And talking about dance, Simu, I want to know if you learned some dance steps while on set mm -hmm. from JLo. Because if I were you, I would do that. I know. <laughs> I, <laughs> <know>. <laughs> I tried. I think you I tried, tried very hard. We did have a little Jenna. dance moment. Yes, we did. We did. We you did. were amazing. And I was talking about your dance moment on the red carpet the other day. Oh, really? Which I was very, which stuck with me. Which I was very I'm so impressed glad. by. I'm yes. so glad. It well, was we were so talking about because you were on World of Dance right? and you know, such such a big influence in the dance <laughs> yeah. world, right? It's she's such an amazing physical performer and all that she does, not just performing <laughs> on stage, but Singing. those those skills come through to when she's embodying action roles too and her physicality and I think it's she's ve you're a very physical physically adept performer. Yeah, I I you know? really come from that yes. place and I like it. And Simu is the same. I try. But so <laughs> guys that was um, such an amazing movie. I Thank love you. it. Thank and you. Jen, uh, I want to know how would you describe the experience of not just acting, but also being the executive producer for this movie? Yeah, being a producer on this film was great. You know, I want to give credit to Netflix for putting a woman and a La Latina woman in the role of the action hero, the lead in a movie mm -hmm. in a very big budget, huge sci fi action mm -hmm. thriller. And, and the fact that I was producing it as well, you know, we got to have a very diverse cast, which yeah. I love. You know, when we were talking about these roles, it was like, well, who can we get in? Like, all the normal names come mm -hmm. up, you know what sure, I mean? Sure. And then you go, wait a minute. How do we make this really representative of our world and make it more interesting than we're used to seeing? And, uh, and we thought of Simu and we thought of Sterling K. Brown, who are both fantastic actors. And uh, we got very lucky that they said yes. And you know, so the producing part of it for me is really about always kind of making movies that represent who mm -hmm. people are in real life. And so we got, we got to do that with this. Yeah, that's perfect. So Simu, I wanna know, how was it like for you to play a villain for the first time? Não temos muito tempo. O Harlan planeja um ataque. Atlas, meu protocolo principal é manter você viva. Ótimo. Yeah, it's what uh, we were just talking about. It was a, it's a lot of fun playing villains because you know lead characters. I feel like they have to do a lot of work to be you know yeah they have to be the good guy and so they have to follow a moral code and they always have to be relatable to the audience yeah, you know empathetic empathetic and, and all these things and they have to service the story so there's all these different things that they have to do villains I think get to have more fun because there's no pressure yeah you get to just come in and there's no rules you just add whatever you can be whatever as bad as you want and um, and it was a lot of fun getting to craft this character from scratch even though he's very different from who who I am um, but uh, you mean you don't want to kill me I don't I don't <laughs> actually want to kill you no and not, all of humanity and, and and every single human on not the face today. of the earth not today not today not, not today, today. Not yet. A agente Atlas Shepard passou anos da sua vida caçando a inteligência artificial conhecida como Harlan, originalmente criado para o avanço da humanidade. Ele quase acabou dando fim a ela. So, uh, my last question is, what message do you guys hope people get from Atlas? Well, there's a, there's a lot of things that people can take away mm -hmm. from it, right? Like, the, first of all, the whole conversation about AI. Mm -hmm. I think this movie does a really good job of showing what the great things about AI are, what the, the, the positive side of what could happen, and then the really, really awful side of what could happen, the destruction mm -hmm. that could happen. So there's that conversation, and then there's the conversation about relationships, yeah. and letting people in, and trusting someone, and believing in someone after you've been you know, hurt. And uh, Atlas character really represents that, I think, and mm -hmm. it's relatable for everybody in, uh, in that sense. Yeah, I think it's a space, you know, it's this big space movie with a lot of special effects and guns, but at its core, it's about, it's about a, a woman and this, and this character, Smith, who, you know, who doesn't trust Smith at all, and they're in this you know, entirely different environment, and they're kind of forced to, to sit with each other, and it's really beautiful. Uh, it was really beautiful for me watching that relationship unfold. Um, so I'm really excited for people to see it. Okay, thank you. Thank very you so much. much. Bye bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Okay.